Hi, this is John with Citizen Survival Plan. Today, we are going to talk about GMRS repeaters, how they work, and how to connect to them. So let's get right into it. Let's start with a frequency chart for GMRS. Your GMRS channels that you are seeing, channels 15 to 22, are actually transmit frequencies. So when you hit your push to talk button, you are going from one radio to the other. So you are transmitting and receiving on the same frequency. Your repeater channels 15 to 22 operate by listening to regular GMRS channels 15 to 22, but they transmit on an entirely different frequency. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the menu button and turn this on. And now I'm in frequency mode. Let's go to repeater 20. So I'm on repeater 20 and I'm gonna transmit on repeater 20 here. Now, let's go down here to this chart. This is repeater 20 and that is transmitting on this frequency, 4676750. So because that's transmitting on this, I need to tune this radio to that and that's what I'm gonna do. So let's type in a frequency here. Four six seven six seven five zero. That's what we're on over here, and that's repeater channel 20's frequency. When you are actually on repeater 20, you are just plus five over your normal channel 20 frequency. So let's show this. I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna set this back here, and you'll see it connect. Testing, testing. So when you're on repeater 20, you can see you are actually transmitting on this frequency, which is above your normal channel 20 frequency. So what's happening here is your GMRS radio is pre-programmed to transmit up to a higher frequency than it's receiving. You're gonna receive on regular frequencies. So when you're on your repeater channels, you're gonna hear like you would hear on channel 15 or whatever channel you're on in the regular uh, band. One thing that I see people talk about all the time is offsets. Your GMRS radio is pre-programmed to automatically do the offset for you. There's no offset programming. When you look in a manual of a GMRS radio, or if you're on like a BTEC app or something, you actually can't change even your receive frequency. So there's no changing the offset. If you are on a repeater channel on your program GMRS radio, it is automatically going to do that offset for you. This brings me to my next point. Your GMRS radio on repeater channels is receiving on regular channels or frequencies. Let me show you. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into regular channel mode on this GMRS radio. So I'm going to hold the menu button. Now I'm back in regular GMRS channels. So let's go to channel 20. GMRS 20, there's no tones or anything set on this just for these demonstration purposes. So if you look here, this is on repeater channel 20. I am on the GMRS repeater channel 20. So what's happening here is this radio is pre-programmed to listen to regular channel 20. So if we go down, this is the transmit channel on channel 20. So if I were to key this up, I'm gonna transmit here at 467, but this channel pre-programmed into your GMRS radio, and all GMRS radios are like this, is programmed to listen, receive on 462. So let's show that. Repeater 20, this is just regular GMRS 20, and this is going to connect up, and I can talk into it. Testing, testing. We are transmitting to that repeater channel. So what's happening is, when you key up on repeater 20, the repeater sitting on top of a hill or wherever it is, is gonna hear it here, and it's probably gonna have a tone on it. We're gonna show you how to do tones in a minute. And it's gonna spit it out on this channel. This radio is pre-programmed to listen over here. So what 
a GMRS repeater is doing is receiving on one channel and spitting back out a signal on regular GMRS channels that you normally would be listening to. So all you need to do is find a repeater that you can reach in your area, choose the right repeater channel and set your tones, whether that be a digital tone or a CTCSS tone. Here's a demo on how to actually do that too. Let's demonstrate how to put a tone on a repeater channel. And it's not any different than just putting a tone on any other GMRS channel that you have. We're gonna do CTCSS tones and I'm gonna show you the digital tones. This is receive CTCS. We need to go to transmit because we need to put the tone that the repeater is going to be carrying. So let's say the repeater has a CTCS tone of, we're just gonna pick something random, it's 69.3. We're just gonna confirm that. So when you go and you look at it on the computer and you find a repeater and you see the tone, you just need to match your transmit tone so you can get into the repeater. The repeater will now pick up that tone and the repeater can hear it. Let's do a digital tone. So let's get this one out of here. We're just gonna zero this back out, turn that off. Let's go up to a digital tone. This is a digital transmit tone. And it's exactly the same. If there is a digital tone on the repeater, on the intake, your receive tone, or its receive tone, you just set it to whatever it is. So if it's 3-2, you just set it there. You just confirm it the same way that you would confirm any other tone in the radio. Here is why receive tones are not that important for when you're using repeaters. Your receive tone doesn't really matter for listening purposes. And let me demonstrate. This radio has a transmit CTCS tone on it and is 91.5. So on this radio, I'm gonna just turn all the tones completely off. My receive tone. So there's no tones on channel 17 and I have a transmit tone set on this radio 91.5 so let's try and transmit this testing testing now the radio that has no tones on it can hear this radio with tones those are privacy tones the privacy tones only block out other people's chatter but they can still hear you when you're on a regular channel everyone can still hear you. let's actually show you an example of a repeater and how you would connect to it so you have to be one within range of your repeater whatever that means you need to be close enough to actually hit it so number two Tune your radio to the corresponding repeater channel of the repeater. So with this one, this is the uplink. This is where it's going to be receiving right here, the 467550. So what is that? That is repeater channel 15 shown here in my chart. I made this chart. I didn't find it anywhere else. Feel free to use it. This is the frequency that your radio is going to transmit on to hit repeater channel 15. When you are on channel 15 on your GMRS radio, you will be listening right here. So this is a random repeater <coughs> that I have on the screen here. The uplink tone looks like a CTCS tone. You are gonna type this right here in the 141.3 and it says the downlink tone is the same. You can put a receive tone on repeater channel 15, but it doesn't matter. What is very important is that you put a transmit tone of this in. And if this had a digital tone, you would simply just not put the CTCS tone on, you would just choose a digital tone. Some repeaters don't have a tone and you would just simply transmit on channel 15 to 
this channel, the up link, and it should work. Most repeaters are going to have a tone though. You might need another radio nearby to test to see if it's working. Repeaters can kerchunk you back or make a beep sound when you connect to them, but if you just have an additional radio just to set off to the side to tune to the corresponding radio just like yours, um, that way you could hear if your voice is hitting the repeater and coming back down and hitting the radio. That would be a good way to test it. I hope that helps clarify how the repeaters actually work. You basically just need your tones and you should be able to connect. No need to worry about offsets. They are all just pre-programmed for GMRS. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.